Let's go. Amuna class 106. Here, here, here. I can't believe it. We, we are flying today. Literally, the Jordan's flying. Everyone's flying. It's amazing. We're going to go live on Instagram at Brez of English. Check it out. And uh, YouTube, Facebook, already live. Brezov.com. Good job. We finally got the class up from the last guest we had, Dr. Benjamin Klempner. Amazing. The guests who joined us, surprise special guests. We didn't make a big deal out of it because they didn't want to yet confirm no. on all the platforms until no you were here in person. Uria. It felt like it was time. It was time. time that. <laughs> yeah, that's everything, man. That's everything. It's all about timing. Yeah. You know, my uncle was one of the biggest guys in the music business. He yeah. said two things, timing and being very honest. Yeah. So we're going to try to do both those things today. Go for sure. And that, that's the key to success in the music business. And he definitely was successful. So we're going to go in that way. And we're also going to go in the way of the teachings of Rabshon Morris. We are holding page 306 in oh. A New Light. We're not starting it yet, but it's good to keep there. We're going in the footsteps of the Siddiquim. That's the title of the, the learning today in A New Light. Check it out. Where he's got his own copy and we're going to give him a few presents as well these booklets you, and well, well. books and it's all a lot of paraphernalia it's going to be amazing yes say hello how you guys doing yeah instagram crowd what's going on, it's already some on? people waving let's sure. move it so we don't see the mic as much yeah, that's better yeah, oh what Perfect. a good looking guy wow i try i try Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hashem. okay so good so let's go now into the beginning of the class. Thank you, Uri, again. So just going to do a little intro to the class, what we're doing over here. We're after Shavuot. We're still wishing a full shlema to Abra Bas Khana. She's had a lot of healing, thank God. Dila Rivka Bas Masha. And of course, Rav Sholem Ben Yemna. And I had to tell you a story on the way to the class, waiting outside for you to come on your scooter. I got yeah, a yeah. picture of us outside. Yeah. Right? There was the Rav walking past just before you came. Wow. So I got to get a kiss on the head and a blessing. And he says, what we're doing is so beautiful and so good. And he was only giving us encouragement and strength, which is perfect timing because that is the theme of the class. Today's class is the last dance. And I already told you personally why it's the last dance. But on a general level for all the people out there, we're at the end of days. We are now coming to a, a completion of this exile. So yeah. it's up to us to really tune into the energy that exists, to dance with it, to really bring the Lechadodi, like Kabbalah Shabbat sure. vibes so that we can receive Mashiach, we can receive the end of days in the best way. Amazing. And since it's these last days, we also are doing a last dance. We need to do it with the advice of the Siddiquim, as we just learned here. We're going in the ways of Siddiquim. What was the advice of the Sadiq? What's the ultimate advice of Moshe to Yeshua and Yeshua to the Jewish people? Moshe Rabbeinu, our, our teacher, and Yeshua Ben Nun. What was their advice, you know? Tell me, tell me, tell me, please. Okay, good. Rak, chazak, miyamatz. They were the three words that they left us with from all the way in the Chumash at the end of Devarim and at the beginning of Sefer Yeshua, mm. Yeshua ben Nun. We see that as he's coming into Eretz Yisrael and Moshe ben as he's passing on the, the uh, journey to his, his protege and his Talmud, his student, Yeshua ben Nun, he's giving him the most important advice of only encouragement and strength strength and encouragement yeah Chazak is strength Chazak. and it, our mates is encouragement courage that's what we need for our generation more than ever all of us are going through that challenge it's a universal experience in the whole world we all need as much encouragement as possible sure. so everyone out there you can share some love while we're on the class share some feedback give some love to Uria. you can check him out on instagram we put the link already on the youtube and we'll get it out there on the instagram and facebook and all the other platforms Uria at underscore it's Uria, O R Y A H H with an underscore after that okay let's hear it from the man himself one more time it's O R Y A H H with an underscore like a little okay go top. check out Uria. you'll see some amazing footage from recent tours of Nissan Black, that's sort of what introduced us. I think that was yeah. the way we heard about each other, yeah? Yeah, from I Nissan? think it was through him, yeah. Because he, he, um, yeah, he had that. you on a tour with him in Miami, and yeah. and you also I saw you a musician as well. Thank so, you know, once we've got yeah. Nissan, we've got music. Yeah, yeah. Everyone who, everyone who knows me knows I'm going to be excited <laughs> yeah. about it. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. you got that. Okay, sure. so let's, let's just go quickly into the intro, and we'll get back to Uria, and then we'll get into the class together. Thank you, Breast of Amunah. Hashem bless you all. You can see also if you want to read it. Yeah, sure. along. Some nice words over here. Always have an extra coffee because we leave Perfect. these two sheets for the rabbi and the tuna up there. We leave it for him for the Q&A so that when Rav Sholem Rosh is here and Rav Dain Elgod, our wonderful hosts, are here and they're translating. And last week was Ralph Cohen. 
we have the opportunity to go through your important and needed questions. But we're not going to do the questions today. We're just going to do the feedback. And uh, we're not going to do the whole other intro before that. Um, yes, thank you for Ellie Goggs for the gender cat. Oh, I like that one. That was a good uh, shout out for myself. Anyway, thank you, <laughs> President Mamun Hashem. Bless you all. Just read about this yesterday in the Garden of Riches, Amen. Baruch Hashem, ex forcive wrote, Yom Tov Shavuot, Shabbat Shalom. That's right, because we just came out of Shavuot, and people were very excited about the posts we made before Shavuot, always bringing some love online before the Chagim. Welcome back, Ralph Cohen. That's from me, actually. I wrote that to him on the class. I was very excited to see him here, and we even had some classes go up on Brezov.com. They didn't manage to make it on the YouTube um, the, the people in the office had some editing issues. I don't know. Anyway, but we're, we're going ahead. Happy Yom Yushalayim. Good. That was a week or so ago. Good Shabbos. Some deep house. Kitschaburuchu vibes. Doblev wrote. Thank you, Hashem. Is, is the rabble right? Is he not well? So we wrote back to him. Yeah, you definitely need to pray. And he is having issues verbalizing. But keep praying. And we hope we'll have an Amunah tour in the not too distant future. Will I be on it? I, that's to be decided. Yeah, it'll be the first year in many years. I'm still deciding whether I'm going to actually have the merit or they'll have the merit either way mm. of me doing being on it. But either way, with moonalive.com, check it out. Keep partnering. Keep giving some love. Rav, uh, sorry, someone else wrote, Faz Sentitol, love you, Rav. Romeo and Susan Dyer wrote, Amen, hallelujah, forever praise and thank God. You like that one? Forever praise God. Praise the Lord. I will. Negat Sima wrote, Baruch Hashem, Rabbi. Jonathan Belayish and Rav Shalom Orish's shorts. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, viral energy going on with the shorts these days, all the short content. Yeah, so we'll try, if we get a good clip from here, we'll cut it up, and that's that's how we roll these days. Found Therapy Clinic. Yeah, that's Dr. Benjamin Klempner's. He wrote, Ellie, it was such an enjoyable experience as last week's cast, being on your podcast. Thank you for allowing me to share my healing with you and your listeners. We had like these gongs and all this oh, yeah, cool wow. stuff. Yeah, wow. if you watch the cast there, it's, it's very healing. Very, especially now we've got the official version. Yeah, the sound yeah. is much better. So check it out on Spotify and all yeah, the nice. platforms. You can feel the vibrations even through the headphones of the gongs and the chimes and the, and the energy that he created. It was very healing very personally. Anyway, let's go ahead. Sigalit Dobby Dob, wonderful lecture. I love how he brings up Andrew Huberman and Tony Robbins and ties uh -huh. it into Judaism. He's definitely what our generation needs. Very level-headed. This is talking about Gedalia Fenster, yeah. who's featuring on our platform for years. And we hope when we do the Munitor, we'll be joining with him. And I hope even sooner, I'm thinking about going to America in the summer. Anyone wants to meet up, I'm happy to do so. Miami, New York kind of area. Um, so mid-summer. So if anyone out there wants to see me in New York, Talking about that, I'm going to London in a less than a few weeks. So anyone wants to meet up in London, actually it's more than that now, a month. A month's time, I'll be in London, July the 6th. So anyone wants to meet up there as well, be a pleasure to see you. Yeah. Asher Silverman, have the pleasure of working my brother, Yosef Daniel, music. You know Yosef Daniel? Yes. He's done some work with Nissan yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. He's such a great guy and a special yes. person. So we gave him a shout out because he introduced us to Dr. Klempner yeah, Yosef, and he's sure. also passed classes as well. He actually was the most attended guest, even more than Nissan. He came here six, seven times, I think. Wow. Nachman Uman, try, start, try starting with COVID. I don't know exactly what that was referring to. We'll read it out anyway. Pop Collier, thank you to Rav Orish for all the time he spends sharing a Muna with us. Yes, it's true. He, he is most nefesh. He does not sleep as much as he needs. He does not eat as much. He does not rest enough. Mm -hmm. He is sharing a Muna, and he's a role model and example and the fact that he gave me those words of encouragement motivates me to keep doing what I'm doing. And like I said, guys, if I'm not here in the near future, I'll keep doing these weekly classes with, on my own platforms either way. So I'm always there with the Rav's mission of sharing Amuna Global. That's, that's the real, real story. Anyway, P, uh, PT Phone Home. I think that's ET Phone Home. That must be a joke. <laughs> I love Gedalia. Um, Brendan Tiller wrote, Boruch Yigali, Amen Amen. Mari Tova, gracias, Hashem, gracias, Rab Paul. You know in Spanish? I'm no, not no, such a no, no, star. No, no, no. Mi amor, and then the whole other message just about Yonatan Balayish. Bok Hashem for Rav Shalom Orish and Rav at Ron Cunning. Hey, we had that already last yeah. time. And uh, just to end off the feedback, um, yeah, we already did that last week. So we're going to go to a special guest. We're not going to say his full name is Uria. That's yes. how we're saying it. Yep, that's the name. That's how it goes. Okay, the flow is Uria. And we wish all of you a beautiful week thank you again for joining us and um, like i said there's two pages here left over of, of questions and we do give them to the rav and they are slowly getting getting there okay so let's hear about uria before we get into all the other stories of the books and the learning 
Thank you. So definitely, first off, thank you for having me over here. Um, I know we were pleasure. trying to meet for a little bit. It uh, <laughs> never happened. Well, Pasha's Palazzo is Pesach Shaney, so there's yeah. always a second chance. There's always a second chance. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I was starting to freak out a little bit. It's no, we were, awesome. I, I knew it was going to happen. <laughs> it's just a timing thing, but thank God, listen, we made it happen. Yeah. Uh, it's all meant to mind. Like you said, the Brooklyn and the Rav, you know, it was all, it was all meant to be. Yeah, today, exactly. was, today was already planned. But um, so a little bit about me, I guess. I, we're going to start from the beginning. Or, you know? Your your choice. This is your plan. Okay, so I, I, there's, there's a few things at the beginning that are kind of interesting, so I, kind of, I guess I'll kind of shed some light to that. So my name is Oria. Um, I was born in Miami, Florida originally. And uh, I'm a Nice doctor. place, by the way. Beautiful place, beautiful yeah. place, thank God. So I, I, I moved to Boca when I was like young. Yeah, that's I was, good. I was born in Miami. Boca's also um, good. Yeah, good place, thank God. A lot of good people over there. Growing shul. Shout out to Boca Raton. Um, so I was adopted into a Jewish family the day I was born. Wow. Right, so they would discuss whatever the whatever the procedures and process was that oh he's going to be adopted to this family. We had a few meetings before, and you know, my parents didn't feel connected to some of the other options that were out there. And I, I, they didn't even know me yet, but wow. for some reason my mom felt the connection towards me. Wow. And she's like, you know what, I, I want I want him. So that was kind of how that happened. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, yeah, anytime. So um, that's kind of a, a bit of an interesting start to the situation. And uh, from there, I, I, I had a Jewish upbringing. I was going wow. to, uh, my dad was a rabbi. I mean, he, he wasn't a gra- rabbi of a community of a kehillah, but he, he graduated in Bas or whatever. Wow. My mom was a lovely Jewish woman. And uh, so, yeah, so I had an upbringing with that. And um, up until probably my barn, probably up until seventh, ninth grade. Up until ninth grade, I, I went to Chavis Chaim school. I did that. And then I went to um, a school called Hill Day School. Half Hebrew, we did Gemara, we did some Echel Mash, all that fun stuff. And then we did uh, English studies throughout that. So it was half Hebrew, half English. And then after that, I went to um, public school. So it was very interesting for me going to public school because I didn't know, I didn't even know what that was. Like, whatever, I didn't know that there was other stuff out there other than Judaism because it was just such a like. So sure. we're in this, and that's that's all that's involved, right? So I didn't grow so, up religious, so I, yeah. I didn't have a Jewish like understanding of either way. Right, right for and sure. And I went to a state school, which is like maybe like even more hardcore than public, because uh-huh. England's pretty rough. I don't know, yeah, I've heard, I've heard, I know a little bit about England over there. Yeah, so it was pretty rough, and I yeah. definitely was one of the few, few Jewish souls there. Right. So I, I can understand a little bit of like yeah, being yeah. exposed, and I yeah. mean, that was my group upbringing, pretty much. So. Wow, wow. I'd love to hear also, obviously, yeah. about more, have of your, more, more <laughs> of your story. I'm sure. So, yeah. um... So I went to public school after that, and uh, it was obviously a different experience for me over there because it's, sure. it's yeah you have everything over there right. Sure. So I'm showing up, my keeping my CC on, my bag, I'm ready to yeah. go. I get to the door over there, and it's just like I'm just like whoa, what is going on? What is all this stuff? Like what is, what's going on? And uh, you know, it kind of uh, took uh, after a while, whatever you're there for four years, four or five years. You kind of get used to the the way lifestyle is the lifestyle is, and and I kind of did get used to it. I ended up getting like really long hair. I had dreadlocks, probably cool. about here. Yeah. Uh, I had an earring on this ear. I, I looked a little bit different than I do now. I, when um, I came to, I had long hair and earrings. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so there we go. Some a little ground, something. Right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was also working in music. I love music. Music was a big thing in our house growing up. My dad uh, was was very into guitar singing and stuff like that. I hated singing growing up, ironically. I hated it. Anytime he asked me to sing, I would leave the table. It was not my thing. Shop and Smear, wasn't Shop, it? Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Shelly asked me to sing. So, <laughs> so um... You went to the, the, the rock and the guitar. So I played the piano, yeah, yeah. He's oh, a piano? guitar player, I played the piano. You're yeah. the piano man. I played until I was about Oh, that's right. I've seen you on, on doing your tracks and stuff. Thank God, yeah, yeah. So I do that um, with me, see, with whoever. Just, I do it for fun, thank God. Yeah. And I play, uh, I make my own music as well. All the beats, all the everything. I play nice. Guitar. Um, so yeah, he was very involved with the music, so I ended up getting involved in music too, but it was my own type of music. Um, and I did that for a while, and I worked in a, I, I was kind of going to the studio, it wasn't the best environment, uh, you know, it was, it was not the safest environment. I, I started involving myself in people that Hashem wasn't their priority, Hashem wasn't their first priority. And, uh, and, and, I, and I was involved with that for a while, and then, um, basically... I, I after that I went to music school. Oh, cool! I, I finished high school with my long crazy hair. Yeah. And then after that, it kind of came off. <laughs> wow. Uh, and then I, I went to music and university. I studied. Yeah, yeah, same, same, same thing. So I went to school in Miami. Yeah. 
So this was like the proper like focus only on music for school. Yeah, same. Because when I went to uni, it was like a general uni, and they had a music department. Yeah. So it wasn't as focused. I actually really wanted to do that. That wasn't what I. I had to. You had to take tests to get into school or whatever bunch of stuff. It was only music. We did music. Amazing. Nine to nine, eight, nine hours a day, and then I I stayed extra. But it was more on the audio engineering side, so it was more um, post production for movies. It was a bunch of fun stuff like that. Uh, so I was doing that for a while. I graduated that, and I started working my way in the music industry. And I was doing that uh, up until I came to Israel. I kind of quit the secular industry, and I, and I decided to come here for for a number of reasons. But um, so I was working my way in the industry. I was, uh, and I was, I was growing religiously also. So what happened was, I basically my both my parents passed away when I was twenty one years old. Oh, that's cool. So they that kind of took an effect on me. I mean, I started the school with my, my mom. My mom, my dad was was not around since I was 13. Oh. My mom passed when I was 21. So I started the music school with her around, but oh. then I finished it with just myself, right? So why, where I started to get kind of more religious on the religious side was that um, I saw, like, for my community, even when I was, like, a little bit less involved, I saw how much people were still there. They were involved to oh. the max. Oh. And they, they saw how, like, Hashem was their Hashem was their priority, and, and it was mine too. But I wasn't. I was. I was. I was a little bit confused. There was other right. stuff going on in life. I, I wasn't like, it wasn't as clear. But they helped me. They helped to make it. They helped make it clear for me. Um, and and they were there for me to tell me how to cook food because I didn't have the, I didn't have any brothers, sisters, uncles, cousins, right. really like that I that I speak to. So I had to I had to figure out a lot of life by myself. So I so I did, and uh, and but it wasn't really by myself because I had them. They helped me out with a lot of things, and 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 thank God it, uh, you know, I I was took it, it was taken in by a family. Amazing. That was uh, uh, the family I went to my schools with when I was growing up, my Jewish oh. school. Oh. Yeah, and they they helped me. Uh, this is in Boca. Get back Boca, Boca, yeah? yeah, it's on Boca. Yeah. Wow. Good so, people. So yeah, thank God. They were kind of the people that helped me see like uh, God's light a little bit again. Amazing. Yeah. Kind of, I just went up from there. So, wow, and then. Yeah. And we came together online once you were sort of making a decision to come to Israel, but you were still touring in Miami. Like, listen, Tommy, there's this cool guy he's going to work with in Miami yeah, yeah. for his tour. Yeah. Because he used to have, uh, Dawid used to come yeah, with him. Yeah, still so he around. Was in Israel. Shout out to David, by Yeah, he's David still, he, I, I toured with him in England. It was we're, amazing. We're together every day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. learning in the old city. Yeah, right? right next door to me. Amazing. I think it's, he's learning like in a Swadi. Yeah, Israeli deal to Israel. Is a time or something? Called the Midrash Sparty. Midrash Sparty. Yeah, okay, it's right cool. next to where I am. Send my love. Yeah, for sure. We all send love because he came. He's past on. guest, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We had Rev Dine good then. We had the whole team going, and he, you can check it out. It's a good yeah. class. He he told his story. It was also very very profound for and sure, powerful. His sure. journey, special guest. And uh, yeah, so Nissim definitely brought some special souls together, and it's included now. Yeah. In the light of Rav Oresh because we're we're sitting in their studio and sure. Rishon Lamosh is you know in institutions. Um, this is going to go live on his platforms yeah. as well as mine and hopefully you can share a little bit yeah, for sure. but the concept is that today we want to go into encouragement and realize that our generation because of all the challenges that are meant to happen before Mashiach yeah. is brought down in the Talmud it's not going to be an easy time like right. we are struggling and it's prophesied as such that the end of days will be the hardest yeah. if it's the Mashiach it's called in Chazal yeah. And therefore, we need as much encouragement as possible. That's why we learn these books. By learning, we've already realized this helps us develop us in a will, a strong will, and gives us ability to overcome a lot of those challenges. And right. all of us need that kind of inspiration, everyone out there. So yeah. I'm asking everyone online to give their love, give some encouragement. Everybody needs it nowadays, including when you're working online. Sure. You need to feel like there's some feedback. So we're going to learn a little bit from Avorosh, and hopefully then we can hear a bit more about Uriah's music, what his, his dreams are, sure. what to do with his music, his journey, and um, what's his connection, you know, with the, with musicians, like yeah. any stories he's had so far on the tour, because some of the footage you put up was beautiful. Thank God, thank God. So uh, it check time. it out. Okay, here we go. We go in the footsteps of the Siddiquim. This is what we're learning today. Page 307, A New Light. And as you as we said, the, the biggest advice is from Moshe to Yeshua, Yeshua to the, the Jewish people, Jewish people really to the whole world, because all are going, we're here to share the light to the whole world right. about strength and encouragement. It was to that end in the youth, Rabbi Nachman wrote Sefer Hamidah. This is page 307. Now the introduction to Sefer Hamidah states, his purpose to allow him to see in an organized form the tremendous depravity of a bad trait. 
So this is like going the other direction yeah. in terms of using all the formulas we've been discussing now. If you go back to my last three classes on mastering spirituality in a practical way, we discussed there how you need to organize everything. You're learning yeah, and have it very sure. clear. So sure, say sure. for a meter, it gives you a book which organizes all your meter, all the attributes that need to be sorted out. This yeah. indicates that superficial general learning will not suffice. Rather, a person must gather relevant material, summarize it, and study it deeply. That's why we're talking about mastery. Right. That's to become a master in his learnings, like a, you know, like a Jedi Knight kind of yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah. 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 You have yeah. to become like a true, a true sensei. Yeah. 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 Sure. yeah. And study it until he realizes, and this is page 308 in A New Light, that without attaining his desired trait, he's not really alive. Only when he realizes life depends on that trait, only when that awareness enters his soul, his neshama or her neshama, because we're talking to everyone here, and he or she is on fire with it, can, can they stand before Hashem and plead with him to attain that trait. I like to keep it universal, that's why I'm adding in yeah, the days huh? and the she's and the, I mean, that the, the guy who wrote this, you know, just thinking about it uh, for whatever reason. Thus yeah. the introduction say for me that states that the purpose of this type of learning is to strengthen a person so that he'll be able to stand and pray to attain the nullification of his evil traits and cravings. So here we go. Let's hear a little bit from the Sefer Mido. Okay. Yeah, you heard of this book? Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah. 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 Sure. A big sadik. And uh, we have also just said dedicating this learning um, to Rev Edelstein. Yeah. He just passed away of Gershon Edelstein. And uh, I was just talking to someone today about the importance of individuality. So it's very much in line with his message that he was understanding in Hinuch, in education nowadays, you have to treat people like individuals, not as a mass of religious people or whatever, yeah. or like a group kind of think. It needs to be individualized. Each soul is unique and each soul has their guidance and each soul has their purpose and their mission. For sure. And this is like what we're going to learn here. Hopefully we'll be online with that. This book contains wonderful teachings that our pure and holy rabbi assembled in his childhood, which in his great wisdom he was able to infer from Torah sources. He gathered together all the material that he found in all the holy books dealing with ethics, behavior, and upright traits. He wrote these down for himself as a memory aid, so he might see with his own eyes the excellence of every good trait and vice versa. Thus go in the way of good people and keep to the pathways of the righteous. And I've seen this by Rav Oresh. He writes down everything like well, on the trip all the time. He's writing yeah. constantly editing and building and building and building more and more systems of understanding where like he was writing a Siddha that time, translating it the whole trip. He was busy yeah. with it. He directed us to copy everything they had written down so that the book may not leave our mouths, but that we may study it always until we put an end to our evil traits. When a person sees a well-organized exposition of the basis of some evil trait, showing the tremendous loss that it caused and a terrible blemish that it engenders, engenders excuse me, he will have pity on himself and gird his loins. That's really old school language. Loins? Yeah. Loins is like the yeah, netzach, like the part of uh -huh. the human being which has strength in it. Yeah. yeah. yeah like yeah. I'd say nowadays would be the core. The core. You know, the core? The essence, yeah. The core is like what holds you up in, in exercise. They always talk about the core strength. Yeah. Yeah. To firmly withstand it, pleading with a compassionate one to rescue his soul from destruction by saving him from those evil traits or evil cravings and the like. And the opposite applies to good traits. He who considers the matter will find good. Yeah. So th this is from Mishlei. Proverbs. Yeah. The idea is that you have to consider. It's very important. Like, guys, you need to think. Yeah, this is the challenge. Become not from from birth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. not from from habit. F H H. Yeah. Are not be, be what they call it. Yeah, from from F H. Yeah, from from F F T. You need to come from from the thought. Thought. Okay. From from thought. Okay. Thinking. Use your brain, guys. Yeah. yeah. yeah? Yeah. I'm a bit of a fan of Ben Shapiro. We're trying not to get political here. But one of the things that impressed me about he actually uses his brain. And it happens to be he's got a good one. Yeah. yeah. Very sharp. And very now very he's by guy. you in Boca Raton. Yes, yeah? nearby. So. Nearby. Not too far. Okay. That's a big thing. It has to be personal. It has to be personal. You have to find a way to make this personal for you. That's right. And he, and he, he will consider a man will find good because it's you using your thought, not someone else's thoughts. Yeah. Yeah, he exactly. will find proper advice on how to protect himself from some evil trait because you have to deal with you yeah, yeah. at the end of the day. Sure. It's your traits, nobody yeah. else. You can't fix someone else. You have to fix your own story yeah. or you can even scan the discussion about helping someone else. It's really... Everyone's got their own thing. Everyone's, exactly. Everyone's just a lot of individuality. Yeah, that's it. Thus, it's not without reason. Rabbi Nachman said regarding Sefer Midot, this is my good, faithful, and dedicated friend. This made me into a Jew. That's what he's saying about the oh, book. Wow, not wow. this book specifically, but this concept. Yeah? That... 
this is my good and dedicated friend. This is what it's about. It gives me guidance how to become a better person. Yeah. And this really will give people humanity nowadays, needs it more than ever. It will give fulfillment and happiness and joy so that you can do the last dance. Yeah. So you have the energy at the end of the week to look at Dodi to dance with you guys. You're at the Koto every, every... As much as I can be, yeah. What's it like, Lel Shabbos? Let's hear a little Unbelievable. bit. Unbelievable. I mean, there's people everywhere. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you've been a bunch of times. It's, it's very beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Energy is unmatched. Yeah, I've Definitely been like living it. here now since the 90s, so... Yeah. Uh, I've had many, many Kabbalah yeah, Shabbos, sure, Shabbat sure. stands. Yeah. Every one of them especially. Even with me, every time I go out there, it's like, nothing gets old. It's and it's nothing. a little taste of what? Of Mashiach, of Me'in Alam Haba. That's right, that's right. The closest we can get for now. Yeah. God's help, it'll be here. Uh, Amen. That's what we're discussing. We're trying to get ourselves ready for it. Regular learning times and review. That's the next part of the thing. Okay, so before we get into this, I just want to ask a story now from Uriah about sure. encouragement. Because you said you had something to say about that. Yeah, and I yeah, don't want well, to forget. First of all, definitely about making it personal for me. So when I was growing up, um, you know, obviously everyone everyone wants to explore. People are people are curious, and I was a very curious person myself. So as much as I wanted to continue going to Jewish school, I also wanted to see what else was out there, right? Sure. So so I did. So I went to public school. I, I worked in this this and that place. I worked in the studios and stuff like that. Um, but it really became personal for me. <coughs> Probably when, when at the hardest time of my life, probably when my parents were wow. not around, and because I had to, they weren't around. So where, where, where is right? My nephew Israel was my help going to come from, right? So we realized in the end, I realized in the end through the Jewish people that it was from Hashem. Wow. And when I saw the every like most unimaginably selfless things these people were doing for me, they barely knew me. Where was my mom's friends? Like this and that. It became really, really personal. And I was like, all right, I'm not going anywhere. This, this is where I'm. I'm not going anywhere else. This is the MS, and I knew the MS was a sham, but it took a bit for me to make it personal. You know, it took me for a bit for me to make it my own. And I was like, okay, okay, now I now I see. And I knew again, I knew it was there, but it was from a different perspective this time. It kind of really, really put brought, brought me there. So, well, that's beautiful because yeah. that really connects in what we're trying to do in these weekly classes, guys. We really want to go into the concept of the Garden of Yearning and Will. We want to understand that comes from within. It's an inner personal. Right journey like personal prayer is personal prayer it's personal right, right, right. yeah it's not that's why the shimon is silent i heard from yeah. someone the other day he said because it's a personal uh, journey mm -hmm. <laughs> connection yeah. between you and hashem it's not for everyone else to hear about sure, nowadays everything's so public yeah. you know with the social media and like you have to learn how to interact with the world and we have to try to become you know somewhat influential with our talents and our, right. our skills Important. and in a deeper way there's a mission there as Rabbi Rosh always talks about sharing a Muna. Yeah. One of the things he said, someone asked this week on Sunday, what's going to bring Mashiach? What's going to bring us to this last dance? Someone asked Rosh mm Hashanah. -hmm. He said, sharing my books of Amuna. Yeah. So we're giving you a few books. We're giving wow. you the Garden of Purity. Yosef wow. Wow. Brown is a big fan of this book. You can ask him. You know Yosef. Of course, my guy. Yeah. Of course. And uh, please send love. Wow. I haven't seen him for a while in person. Absolutely. He's been invited here for about two years, three years <laughs> to come, and he still hasn't made it. He's on so his he, way, he's on you his actually way. make him look better because you know you're like you, you also, only took six also. months or something yeah, yeah, this yeah. is another thing we're giving you will know about this guys anyone, anyone who watches these classes these wonderful magnets what does it sound here i love it when the guests read it it's much more powerful than me saying it again Hashem arush amuna hashem loves me and everything will be always good and it will only get better and better good truth. line MS. yeah so that's sure, one of the sure. big well, thank concepts you. yeah that's for I your know where to put this refrigerator or wherever you need it okay then we have all the booklets we're giving we're giving, loving everyone as my own child, very high level of loving another Jew. Thank you. We have Hashem loves me. Everyone, Hashem loves me. He does. It's true. It's true. Wow. The law of gratitude. Chok is another thing that Rav Arish was talking about, another booklet that he was talking about this week. Very important. All your dreams come true. That's what we're going to get to in a minute. Your yeah. dreams and music after we no, learn a little bit more. No, no. And then here we have true happiness, which has this quote that we just had that discusses it a bit more based on the soul level. And then we have all these books and loving unconditionally which was a big thing after first of all, by the way i love the artwork on these it's beautiful oh, yeah, well, sure. in charge of that, I mean, <laughs> i'm just i'm just here to uh, share I'm in a book. source of salvation this is the, we'll end off with this one this booklet this is beautiful about bringing in shabbat early wow. and i've given this to some people and they every week and they, they bring it in early and they yeah. take it out late take it out late for and sure. it's a real thing shabbat has the power of bringing salvation he seems big on that too with the rabbinic time yeah so Baruch hashem holy nisim so before we, we go uh, back to your dreams, sure. I want to just now 
learn a little bit on page yeah. 309. I'm a little bit ADHD. I like to move around, you know. No, I'm with you. I'm it's probably normal for this generation. Yeah, so. yeah. Anyway, if I cut We're this good. up and put it on TikTok, no one would know. Whatever you want to do. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> it will look like it's like somewhat normal because it will be like clips yeah, instead of like yeah, some yeah. ADHD for flow. Sure. But that's how I go, unity flow. I have yeah, three good. podcasts, by the way. Yeah. One on relationships, called Relationship Flow. Link below in the description. Check it out. I've got Unity Flow podcast. I'm going to update hopefully tomorrow. Mm. All about what's going on with the Unity bookings because I've worked with a lot of guys, yeah, artists. Yeah. It's another reason why I want to talk to you about sure. some music stuff. Sure. Maybe we'll have a new Unity booking star in the making. Yeah, yeah you so, up for yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, listen. I'm here, I'm here. Okay, Let's we'll have to discuss out. the details after the... It's not for public consumption, but okay, the, uh, the, the concept is out there, guys. Start booking. Uriah. Regular Learning Times Review. That's where we're at. Right. And that's my third podcast. And Muna is a podcast, which is what we're doing now. Perfect. Therefore, the preferable way to learn is to follow this approach of Rabbi Nachman of Brestov. Yeah, Every yeah. day you must review the conclusions of your learning in order not to forget them. This learning is useful when carefully review all the points you have elucidated. I'm sure you're doing that in yeshiva all the time. Yeah. Hazaring, as they call it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Conversely, when a person does not review... The prince of forgetfulness reigns and causes him to forget what he learned. Very true. And that allows doubts to return and dominate him. Therefore, you must learn and review a great deal every day. Now, you thought you were going to have only Hasidus here because, you know, it's Bresla. But now we're going to see from Avorish that we learn everything. Yeah. This idea is staying the famous introduction to Masilat Yashara. I did not compromise, uh, sorry, I did not compose this work to teach people what they do know, but to remind them of what they already know, of that which is quite well publicized. In most, what have I written, you will only find matters that most people know and do not question at all. Although these matters are evident and their truth is revealed to everyone, people commonly ignore them, regularly forget them. So really, it's just like revealing what you already know. Yeah, yeah. But the problem is, we're forgetting. Yeah. Therefore, the utility to be gained from this book, of Mr. Yisraim, and I suppose all these books, does not result from an, a one-time reading because the reader might only attain a few intellectual insights that they did not have before. Rather, and this is in bold now, mm. the usefulness results in consistent review of the material. Now, have you, have you ever heard Rabbi Arash speak a little bit? Yeah, for sure. Are, for and sure. you heard him pray a little bit? If, if, if you sat with him for a while... Well, if he's into Simcha, it's... Ah, yeah, oh, Simcha, yeah, smiling. He always yeah, says, yeah. Eli, smile. That's what yeah. he says to me. <laughs> yeah. And he says, take me a muna. One of the things yeah. he walks around saying all the time, give me a muna, give me a muna. Repeats it again and again. Right, simcha, right. simcha, like constantly. Medicine, building up Reminding stronger himself. and stronger will to connect to these concepts so it becomes real right. in him. Uh, because of the reader, remember these matters that people naturally forget. And it takes his obligations is be ignoring. Similarly, the great leaders of Israel have the custom of learning two halakas a day on guarding one's tongue from the Chavetz Chaim. Because mm. much a person hears classes, goes to assemblies, and receives encouragement, no matter how much he inspired here, and there to change his contact, the routine of life, it habits, dampen his infusion, and makes him forget all his resolve. But if you learn with myself such simple matters every day, then eventually <coughs> you will certainly bear fruit. Yeah. <laughs> wow, my voice going. You've got to read this last line. Which one? All right. Your intent. Yeah. In order to attain the faith, that part? No. It's page 310. 310? Oh. You just skip. Skip the page. Oh, that's why I was okay. There we go. Certainly bear fruit. Your intent? Your intent will be strong and firm, giving you the fortitude to continue working until heaven will lead you and protect you from everything forbidden. And you will undergo an essential transformation. Amazing. Okay, guys. So we could go on and on, but we wanna we wanna keep this class like focused. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go next week into the short and certain route. We're gonna mention all the different books of Ravarish, the prescription. It's gonna get really personal as well. He he says it's so important to have a personal library of books, just like you have personal prayer. You need to have your personal connection to Torah. For sure. And your personal sure. connection to your your sphere of influence, your friends, the souls that, you're yeah. most connected with. Yeah, yeah. I had, a, as I said, a pleasure to talk to one of my best friends today. He phoned me from Amsterdam. And it was amazing just to connect. Because a year ago, we were at his wedding. And a year later, it's like, and that was unbelievable. I mean, Ace and Cats came, Alex Claire. Wow, wow, we had wow. like a real powerful one. I had the pleasure to book it. Both in Israel had, now, no? You're both in Israel. Um, Ace and Cats is generally in America. Uh, yeah, Alex Claire is in Israel. Yeah, and um, he just put out a track with Matt Dubb. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Give a shout out to yeah, DJ for sure, for Matt sure. Dubb. Monty, I think his new name is. And Alex Kerr. We always do like music shout outs during our class. Yeah, Check sure. out, um, we'll remind everyone the new Zusha song has gone pretty viral um, about everyone having a chalik in Olam Haba. Everyone has a portion of the world to come. Yeah. Very important. We're just doing that now, Pirka Abbot. And uh, sayings of our father, we're bringing up that line every week. So they brought it alive in music. 
a very creative music. It's like really cool, like flying. Yeah, yeah. So They're very neat. They, I love it. Cool song. instruments. Yeah, Zakaria's yeah, yeah. my brother from another mother. Like, Goldschmidt. It seems like similar. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Almost the same name. You know, like sure, uh, sure, we sure. we're not relatives, but he knows how to float. Related by uh, religion. Basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have the uh, other great music coming out. We know Nissan Black's putting out some great new tracks soon. Yeah, you, yeah. You've probably seen and it. We actually also did one together uh, this week. Thank oh God. yeah, you're we, gonna have we, a track we, together, collab. We have one. It's finished. It's, it's on its way to being done. Yeah, yeah. It's just being mixed, but it's very, very special. Also. You did it, Danny Aloni, or what his name we is. Did it with Aloni. Yeah. yeah. Aloni's cool. Team, yeah. Special song. Wow. Nice. Looking forward to that. Very so we got one. that's a exclusive shout out to Nissan Black and Uria that they're going to be putting out a track together. Up, yeah, yeah. How exciting! Up. And uh, Moshe Rubin put out a track as well. Who else put out a track recently? There's a lot of music after Shavuot. Well, Every music, yeah. you know, coming out, pouring forth, and it means a lot to me personally to have. Oh, Gabriel! I don't know if you heard of Gabriel, the real Gabriel. Check him out. On. You have to show I'll send you his music. Yeah, Beautiful. Please, please. He's a singer. He has a band called Akeb, it's like a wedding band, but to be honest, he as a solo artist or his collaborations. Very talented guy. Yeah, beautiful man. I, I well, this him at one point was considering doing a collab, didn't work out. Yeah, for whatever yeah. reason, I think Moshe Rubin is doing a collab with him. Okay. And uh, it's going to be, he's he's got star material. Like his, I love it, yeah. Love to and he's it. also a bit of a producer as well. Like uh, he works in the studio. It's one of my Unity Bookings guys. Very nice. Um, we just added uh, Dr. Klemner to our Unity Bookings if anyone wants to get some therapy sessions with him. There's chimes, and we also added. Um, who else are we adding? We have Rossi Ben Sarton. We mentioned him already. There's been some new additions. I'm going to talk about it tomorrow. Unity Flow podcast with the screen in front of me, so I don't forget all the names because it's really becoming a big list. Thank God. Thank of really talented artists, and I'd well, like to. Yeah, it's, it's getting a bit hectic. For example, Rudy Rothman yeah. wants to do a UK tour, oh, so really? I'm going to be hopefully anyone want to reach out June the 26th. We'll be booking Rudy Rochman. He came also to the studio. We did a great class there. Nice. And uh, he'll be doing a tour, basically dealing with the challenges of anti-Semitism now and, and how we can be empowered to do to get more involved with activism to yeah. counteract all of that. Mm. And he's going to be doing that all around UK. We've already got a lot of um, interest from well, the few messages I've sent out and there's a mass interest. So it's very special. It's exciting. Very so it's going to get busy, hopefully. And then we pray that it brings Sheffer um, one other book I recommend everyone checking out since we're learning Swarm to here, Zera, Zera Shimshon. You ever heard of it? Yeah. So there's another uh, Chabura group I'm part of, and they're bringing you Shua up through learning the book of Zera Shimshon. Thank God there's such a, a large amount of Torah. We're going to give you this bag to Thank take you. with you for Thank your you. wonderful presence. Thank and you. Wow. And before we do that, I just want to end off the class. Wow. With Uriah, other than the good news of doing a collab with my holy brother. Sure, sure. But what about you? What's your dream? So the, my name is Orya, right? So my my mother gave it to me when I was younger. I mean, it's God's light, and the dream is to spread Hashem's light in the world. You know, whether yes. whether no matter what you've been through, there's always there's always light. You know, there's always light, and there's always a positive outlet you can you can you know you can see if if, if you're in the right place. You know, and in the right places in wherever Hashem is. Nice. So um, that's the goal. The music is to be able to, to give it to, give people something to connect to. You know, uh, I'm big on that. You gotta make it perfect. It's gotta be perfect. Not, not just something. All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do it. Go through the motions and that's right. it. No, this is, this is this is something deeper than that. You know. So so my goal is to bring bring the light. Bring the bring light, the light man. That's it. Uh, so and in terms of your music, like what yeah. what is the theme other than the light? Like personal. Is as far all, as as far as like the like types style. Of, yeah. What kind of style so, would you say? It's hard to put words yeah. into things like creative. Yeah, yeah. But what you feel comfortable expressing that sure. will most depict, because there are people out there who want to connect to yeah, yeah. different genres of music. And right, right. Personally, me, I'm into everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And same, like, I'm, same. I'm rocking NF because yeah. like he's a clean yes. rapper. And uh, what's his name? Nisim loves. Yeah. And that's new <laughs> stuff. Going on a whole thing about NF. Yeah. Happy. Woo. That yeah, yeah, song yeah. yeah. It's radio friendly. A lot of special stuff with him. Check it out, NF. And uh, then there's all the you know general Jewish music world stuff that we we can talk about. Like yeah. The, you know, Mordechai Shapiro just put out a nice, fun song. Mm. There's always like a lot of fun Jewish music out there. Yeah, um, it's a little bit different than that. Yeah, um, I, I take influence from a lot of uh, some NF. It's NF style, but not not. So well, a little much. bit. It's my own thing. Yeah, or a little bit of hip hop, singing. a little bit. Most of it's melodic. I sing. It's not really rapping. It's more singing for me. And with the keys, you're doing the keyboard. Some of the yeah, mostly everything's produced by me also. Amazing. Um, I, I, there's a producer I've been working with uh, who's made a lot of stuff for me. He's a very, very, very talented guy. Can you give a name? Um, Shout out. Aram. A R A M. Yeah. Very, very talented person. Um, Was he in Miami? No, he's in. Uh, oh, he's in some Shepherdsburg. I 
Oh, you're like outsourcing. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. What, yeah, <laughs> outsourcing the I love that. Outsourcing. Yeah, I need yeah, to get into that. Um, and, uh, I, I outsourced my website, group. by the way, to Ukrainians. Yeah. They did a great job. Very nice, yeah. Even so Jordan do a lot of, yeah, yeah. It's, it's special. They're very, very talented. Yeah. yeah. So, um, the Hebrew songs as well. So do Hebrew and English. And, and, yeah. Is that like with Kavana with intention? Kavana, yeah, for Kavana for sure. Everything is uh, everything is uh, gone out with the plan. Yeah. With intention. Yeah, it's all conscious, conscious music. Cool. So, so whenever, and the English, and and you don't want to just be exclusive the English. Too, the topics too. You don't want to be exclusive Hebrew. You want to like Russian, yeah, Polish. I, I, you want to bring it all. I, I try to get a bit of a mix of everything. You know? Wow. So, and what, what would all, you, what's your all... dream? What would you like to see other than the light aspect? What would you like to see with your music? You like to see it. Is it important for you to get on the billboard, um, number one, or you want to be like, a, you know, like on the biggest, you know, platforms like yeah. Hot FM, I don't know, whatever's out I there. I think the goal is to have the biggest impact, you know, I, I mean that, I mean that, you know, I've been, the reason why I make the music I make is because I'm, I try to make things that I was looking for that I didn't necessarily hear from, from everywhere. I couldn't really connect to it. I mean, obviously we have a lot of, like you said, talented Jewish artists and jo- yeah. a lot of talented people in general that are very influential and inspirational, but... You still haven't reached the world fully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm trying to... Matteo tried, sort of did. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm know, trying to do it. on his exactly. way, but there's, you right. know... And still he's not, doing it. He's, he's, he's doing unreal. It. He's unbelievable. But and it's he, still not the whole world. It's still right, not... Right, right. So for me, I want... Luna Global, like we say. Exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. That's our tagline, by the way. Luna Global, I like that. Yeah. I tried to say there's, there's, there are shims from Global, but the guy running it didn't like it too much. Yeah, Muna Global. Is, is, <laughs> no, everyone's into that. Everyone knows what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Muna's it's universal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a big word in the Jewish, obviously. Jewish but community. it's the whole world. Everyone needs a Muna. Yeah. That's yeah. The, the concept. What's going to help? Very big. Take away all this anxiety and pain, like as much as people are trying through medication or through yeah. alternative medi- med- or med- meditation or all these yeah. other different ways. In the end, having a, a Muna system value system right. soul system is really going to heal and we have to be honest as well like you know, yeah. there's, there's a lot of challenges everyone has people have in their life you know, a, lot, a lot of challenges and the music is uh, I, i've had thank god i've had uh, some very very inspiring and, and i was i i didn't even believe like i had to read it a few times i've had some very inspirational messages people have sent me from the stuff that i that I made and then it's just such an inspiration to keep that going you know and then so my goal is to just get it's for everybody i want people with their mothers and their 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 parents their, the, the kids, whatever, whoever, just to come and to enjoy it, and 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 and, and just the biggest impact, you know, that that's on and anyone. That that's that's the goal. So we share a similar whether goal. Whether it gets on the billboard or what... not, whether it gets over there or not, that's great. <laughs> yeah, that that part's but, up to uh, the that part doesn't yeah. come with you to heaven. The billboard no. doesn't come with you to Shemar. But the impact. Look at the way NF impact. talks about success. You know. Yeah. yeah. He's like, you know, it's got to come from. It's got to be real music, as he always says. Exactly. Real. It's real. Always it lasts the longest, right? So the billboard might. Doesn't come with Peter Shemaya, but the impact that that that, that, that stuff gets is great. So we share similar goals. Like we're all in the same story. So that's really inspiring for me Thank to God. bring a fellow musician and soul brother into the studio. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. To have us, we're coming up to just do a little bit of Torah to end off the class, and then we'll have the last word from our guest. Sure. Think of something encouraging to end off with, because that's the climax. We're trying to get to this last dance. So Pasha Balascha, there's a lot of chizuk in the yeah. Pasha, a lot of inspiration there. Especially with we had the Menorah, begin the Pasha, the light. You were talking about Uriah, yeah. so we had a theme of light here, very perfect timing. Ashkafa Pas, Divine Providence, we discussed light, bringing that light to the world. This Pasha starts with that way. And really, you see, with all the struggles that the Jewish people go through in this week's Pasha, yeah. with all the Nisyonis, the challenges, the, the big Nun, the giant Nun of, of Nun Shari Torah, Nun Shari Bina, and Tshuva is there giving inspiration. He's been Sa'aron, there's yeah. Pesukim of Chizuk and encouragement. And throughout the whole time, Moshe and Yeshua, and you see all by the Siddiquim are guiding us, as we just learned today. We learn, we review it, the concepts of going over, making it clearer and clearer, internalizing it, making it very real inside you, to hear the voice of love, yeah. the voice of connection, the voice of Hashem Yisbarach, the voice of your soul communicating into your heart and beating out those negative voices. You know how much I get messages from people I love who are struggling in their inner world Absolutely. with the negative voices, these mm. voices putting them down. Yeah. And it's not even yeah, truth. There's no truth to it. It's lies. Yeah. Shaka. And online, it makes you feel like when you go online, you see everyone seems to be living it up. And really, people are struggling yeah. inside. And really, we have to strengthen that inner voice 
to give exactly. us the true quality of life. Yeah. And that's music definitely is a huge tool for that. Yeah. Prayer, learning, kindness, all these beautiful things. So we should take that with us, Pashat Balotska, to have the aliyah, the strength mm. to go keep going up in our life, especially yeah. in these coming weeks. We need as much chizuk and encouragement when we're going into the Pashas of the Midbar. I just heard from yeah. Shlomo Katz over Shavuot. I'm sure you learned a lot also, Shavuot. We had okay. Brokashem, yeah. beautiful class in the middle of the night. And he was saying over the, the Pashas of the Midbar, and when we were learning uh, the, the May Mishloach, you know the Mishloach? Yes. Mishloach, he's a, the Rav of Rav Sodok and Rav yeah. Lebelager and the, all those the dynasties that came out there. Amazing derech of Hasidus. I personally have a Chavisa with it every week. Beautiful. And, and uh, in Rav Sodok and Lebelager, the students, but I also learned with Rav Shlomo, May Shloach. So he said over there, the Midbar is Pashas after we go to Balaska, filled with mistakes. Yeah. Filled with challenges, filled with problems. Yeah. So what's the point? How are we going to go ahead in these coming weeks with all the challenges that are going to come that Hashem should protect us from and give us strength to deal with them? We need to have that voice inside of us strong. Yeah. To do the last dance, we have to have encouragement. We have to have strength. And like the Sefer was saying also, just making so let's it end and off repeating with your, it. Yeah. Repeating the, keeping that constant positive energy in your mind, you know? And I think a big part of this feel is this davening that we that we do every day is, is a constant reminder. Hashem, thank you so much for everything you've done for me. You know, sure. and, and so, so. Yeah. But we should also make sure that it's personal. Like you were saying, with the people that are over there dealing with these negative thoughts and these things that they go through in their life, it's it's a challenge. But we have to we as much as it's a challenge, we can't just say that all right, that's it. You know what I mean? We we, we have to make it we have to make a personal connection. And and the Judaism Judaism has to be a personal thing. It can't just be something that it's like, okay, well I'm just going through the motions now. Like I was saying before, it's just it ultimately it won't lead to, to, to anything genuine. It won't lead to anything sure. from, from from the neshama. The neshama is not really going to feed or get get the proper nutrition it needs to serve neshama in the proper way, right? So it should all be personal for us. Yeah, like you were saying as well. There's, there's a lot of challenges in the upcoming parshiot. Shalach is actually my parsha. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I'm gonna land. You'll be there. God's so. Yeah, yeah, but even the shlach, there's also there's a lot of challenges that, that went on there. A lot of doubts. A lot of doubts. When we're going it's next week it. already, isn't it? Yeah, it's next week. And in, in, in the rest of the world, they're Pasha's NASA. Yeah. All you guys out there, but probably by the time they load up the uh, the website <laughs> version, it will be next week anyway. Yeah, exactly. So it will actually okay. work out, Balaska. Well, you guys in NASA, Birkas Kohanim, <laughs> you're still with the tribes, you're yeah. a week behind. Yeah. We're already getting Listen, ready for the coming we're, months. We're moving, we're moving. Yeah, in two weeks' time, that's the being in the rest exactly. of the world. Okay, right, exactly. Shlichus. Shlichus, exactly. exactly. So we're, what's the ending words of this class? The ending word from, from me is at least to, yeah. to, to, like we're reading this book, and like we've said many times in different ways, to make it personal, try to make a personal connection, and realize, you know, that there's always a light. There's always a light in whatever, um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's whatever that's going on. We're learning life. a new light, even yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can I mean, come on, this is, this is meant to be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a new light. Okay, so so take it in. Take oh, it in. Let's Realize go, guys. Yeah. Shem showing us the way. Let's go. Let's this. enjoy this journey together. And I'll see you next week. Uh, oh, Muna class. Oh, Please go. We'll be able to dance the final dance of Mashir Sakenu. Oh, all man. of us together. All our family, all our friends. And the best part is, my check out United Souls. I have a, a sure. sub stack. Sure. And over there, what's the comfort when you don't have your mother or your father? You have these beautiful souls of you anymore yeah. in this world. You always have them with you and, and true because yeah. we're all souls and ultimately really? we're all connected. Exactly. And that's the ultimate comfort to us all. We should end with that, that we'll all be dancing together with all the souls of all of humanity and all the loved Amen. ones. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Have a beautiful rest of the week. Enjoy. Enjoy. Amazing. And Shabbos. And Shabbos. 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 Yeah, let's oh. get the Facebook off. You guys, give us some love over wow. here. Wow. I see some love, but not enough. Oh, a little bit. There's some comments going down.